I am very delighted to be the guest of honor here today. Very, very delighted. And I must say the story is quite long, but in a succinct way, the economy was in distress. 20, towards 2021 elections, the economy was in distress, serious distress. We had defaulted with our debt obligations. And we worked very hard to restore the situation, to achieve debt restructuring, to bring stability to the country, to bring normalcy. So we return the country to normalcy, to get the rule of law to apply again, to look at sectors such as mines and their central role in our economic restructuring program. Very critical, very important. And mines had closed. Mines had closed. KCM, of course, 28 shaft, as the Minister of Mines indicated. Mupani was in comatose. The list is long. There was just no more life to inject in the sector as was in the overall economy. And one of our challenges, first steps, was to deal with all these issues and look at this sector, mining sector. I should have said so that those that didn't close, didn't go down, they were basically, some investors were on their way out. I know many. Our duty was to correct that situation to take steps, many steps, including to stabilize the operating environment, the mining regime. Most of you are aware that 10 years earlier, before 2021, there were 18 changes to the mining fiscal and other regimes, 18. That is instability. You cannot run a long-term investment with such instability in the policies. Not to bore you, that too was our agenda. And I want to say that truly it's a privilege for me to be here today at this occasion. Mark and I had a long chat in Cape Town my first outing after taking office, we had a chat with this gentleman. And at the end of our meeting, we said, we'll make things better. The government will do what it's supposed to do. And Barico, Lumana will do what it's supposed to do. And truly to what the partnership we intended to develop is supposed to be. Each one has a part to play to complete the story. And we talked about stabilizing Lumana. We talked about stabilizing other mines. We talked about actually not just stability, but expanding the investments. And here we are today at the Lumana Super Pit. I would like you to join me in clapping for Mark and his team and all of us. And those that have allowed him and his team all accepted their request, the shareholders. Thank you to the shareholders. I know because of technology, some shareholders may be here, but those who are not here, may hear this message. We appreciate that decision. We appreciate that decision. But it takes leadership. It takes leadership. And I've been saying to Zambians that leadership is at the center of everything that we need to do. In Mumena's kingdom, if there was no leadership, there would have been chaos in the kingdom. Money. Leadership is everything. 
other things, other pieces fall in place when leadership is right. So Zambians, take heed. Leadership is important. Political leadership, business leadership, community leadership, church leadership, everything. So we're very, very happy that today we can gather in this manner at this location with these big machines, 60 there. Thank you for your thoughtfulness to stick that machine as we celebrate Zambia's 60th year of independence. But I must be the first one to say that we have misused the 60 years of independence. We could have been at a different level now as a country. We could have been at a different level. Maybe better late than never. We must now move faster. We must act quickly. In the side meetings there, we were chatting about things not moving quickly to get Manyama Township to get the 2,000 houses built there. Local council has a job to do to approve many things. We need to approve things like yesterday. There is no time to waste. I told you we have wasted 60 years. Most of that, those years, we could have done better. So now that we're behind schedule, we need to work quickly and not to pull in different directions. Any challenge we have around this mine, we must checklist it. We must see who is supposed to resolve that challenge and get on with the job. So, no challenge is insurmountable. No issue must remain on the table. We must clear it. Ministers know this language. I speak this language in cabinet. They know it. So in the room there, I said to Mark, we have issues around the mining legislation. It's a no-brainer. We shouldn't have side shows. We should sit. Three columns only is what we need. What does the country desire from the sector, mining sector, to be done so that this sector can contribute to economic development and consequentially jobs, business opportunities for suppliers of goods and services, benefits to employees, to the community around Growth is good for everybody. So then the next column, we should be discussing what we have agreed out of this list A. So list B, what we have agreed. List C is what we are yet to agree. We pay attention to list C and walk through it quickly so that the investors are happy, workers are happy, Suppliers are happy. The country of Roe is happy. That's our agenda. Nothing else. We don't have another agenda. I wished we had another agenda, but we would have thrown it out of the table. This is the only agenda we have. And then we communicate correctly together. And Minister of Mines. I have already issued guidelines to you, P.S. As we return, we go to the table. Because we want this super pit, we want Lumwana to succeed. We want Kalumbila to succeed. Were it not for the work we did when we took office, Bamumena, 
Kansanshi mine would have been closing next year. It had only four years left. But we worked, we've now extended the life of that mine for another 20 years. That's our job. It's as simple as that. It's what we're here to do. We may not agree on how we see things. As long as we agree that we want to make progress, we will find convergence about all issues, big issues, small issues alike. Simple. That's how my brain works. So I ask us to grow this partnership. I ask us, Barrick, Rumwana, government, central, local government, traditional leaders, this partnership is what will deliver. Many times people see each other as competitors. It's a bland way of looking at things. <laughs> There's a lot of complementarity rather than competition all the time. So, as we congratulate Lumana Barak, I am saying this is long overdue. This should have happened earlier. The global environment is looking good for us. This asset God gave us called copper is becoming a critical mineral in what the world wants to do to make itself cleaner, greener, cleaner, isn't it? Let's take advantage. I could say more things. I thought my theme would be around it. Every time I meant to say something, I figure out what is more important to focus on. Not everything, but certain things, certain slants. This is the one. We met the chiefs separately. We chatted. The concerns of our people, remind me, Minister, the concerns of our people, the relocation. What's that location? Area? Gafsenga. We are alive to the concerns of our people. Those that have been relocated, those that need to be co compensated, I said to Mark, we must get the job done. So that that community joins the pack of partners in making Rumana work. <laughs> and so are many other things. So my theme is partnership, working together, behind schedule. That's my theme. So, Lumana tells me in the side meeting, there are many good things around here. The training school to breed skills. When we were campaigning to take public office, I made a pledge to Avena Solwezi, Avena Northwest, and Avena Zambia that when these mines and our government get to expand, our mines, because this is our mine, we will also ensure that job opportunities are given to local people. Local people. I stand by that position. And the argument that local people don't have skills is not an excuse. Because if they don't have the skills, we train them. We train them. And I want to congratulate you, Mark, for the training school. It's exactly how we intended it to be. So that Vena Matebo, Mwane, Vena Mumena, Vena Mukumbi, and all the others around. Our children, your children, can now go to that training school and acquire skills that the mine here needs, and they will get the jobs. Fantastic. I hope I'm making sense to somebody. 
But we also know that there are specialist skills which even Romana itself doesn't have globally. And what does Romana do? They bring in those skills from wherever they are. To make this mine work, we will also need specialist skills. And when those skills are required, we as a government mark will give work permits. We will give the work permits so that the mine works. The super pit delivers the intended objectives. Simple. Simple. So I would like to really encourage ourselves as a community of this area, this beloved area of mine, as a province, as a country, as investors, that we have an opportunity to take this country to where many thought it can never be. We have a rare opportunity. We are equal to the task, working together. Where we fall short, we'll find someone else to work with us, to fill in the gap, and we'll get the job done. Anything else you hear people are saying, I'm aware what people are saying, but we stay the course. But those things they say, they should have done them. They had the opportunity to do them. Then you realize that what they're saying is just bubera. Bubera bwa tama kesha baka kuyuka. Bubera. Bubera. Muna kungwa. When you hear too much TikTok, we must say bubera. When a bubera, bubera bwa tama. If not, we Lunda do say it's simply Madimbek. That's it. It's just Madimbek. So let's move on as a business, as a community, as a country. We are part of the global community. We are not an island. What we do is assessed not just within the country, but even outside. And I like Marky's principle. We can build global assets here. Capital flows in here, technology flows in here, skills, labor in here. We have the resource in domain as a basis of advantage. So I encourage Lumana to get on with the job. Where you face challenges, shout. And that's why we're here, to find solutions to problems, more so when we are partners like this. With those words, I would like to officially, officially launch this super pit, this Lumana super pit. Na Santa Bingi, na Santa Bingi man, Sakwira Chikuma, Sakwira Chikuma, Chamwaza.